Where is it? It's still running, dude. It's under that dock. Oh no, you're around. If you if we no. get we can get this. Hand me the rod. Hop up. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm with my main man, Aaron. What's up, y'all? We're out on the water today on his boat, and we are still in the mullet run. But we're doing a little bit of different type of fishing from my last mullet run video. We are fishing in the river today. We're gonna be throwing some massive topwater plugs, throwing some big live mullet, trying to catch giant jacks and anything else that wants to eat a big mullet. I'm literally looking at mullet getting blown up right now. So let's put the camera away and get after it. Buddy. Holy cow. This has got to be like 50 pounds of mullet, bro. <laughs> Oh my that was god, way bro. too open. Oh my god, look at the flashing. Oh my god. Those are good size ones though, those are what we wanted. Yeah. I might need help pulling this over the gun. Oh! Okay. Ready? One, two, two three. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get these. <laughs> some of these in the well. <laughs> so guys, we're out here, we're fishing the river, and we've been on a pretty consistent bite with these mullet. Basically, we're waiting for the tide to switch, and as the water starts to move, the bait starts to move with it, and they get trapped. We've had some crazy king tides, so the outflow of water has been absolutely insane, and the incoming has been insane. So both tides are great, but what you really just want to catch is really, really fast moving water that basically pushes the bait. And as that happens, the jack that can easily swim in and around it, they just start to go crazy. You'll also get some tarpon and some snook. So hopefully it's insane today. All of Aaron's energy is getting me extremely excited. And the pictures he's been showing me for the past couple days, the videos he's been showing me, the big blow ups he's been getting on giant topwaters has just, you know, the angler fanatic in me just excited. I feel like a little kid in a candy store. Alrighty, we got a big striped mullet about to go out under one of these docks against one of these seawalls, try and catch a monster lurking in the shadows. He must be foul or something. That was a 40. That was such a big blow up, dude. Oh my God. The sound was like give, enough to give you nightmares. Oh, I just got eight too. Oh! Are you on still? Yeah. Yeah. It's a jack though. God. Oh no, it's a snook. You want to get the net? Dude, I literally got popped at the same time as you by a snook. <sighs> Hold on. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on, let's be patient here. She got a second win. Gotcha. Okay, let's bring her this way. Play her light. Huge snook, guys. Could be a 40. Could be like a 38. He's a little smaller. We're gonna find out. It's a nice one, though. <sighs> Good work. It's really close. What we got here? 35 inches. Zero. Inch. All the way out to 35 inch fish. Beautiful dark razor fish. Really nice one, my man. There it is, guys. A nice. Drop her lower. Yeah. There it is, guys. A 35 inch overslot dark river snook. I was actually very surprised she stayed pinned because she hit it. And Ryan and I, at least I thought she was a jack. Did you see the line strip across oh, dude, the water? She freaking went so fast. Dude, she went ballistic. But we got her. So let's put her down, get a nice healthy release here. Good work, my man. That was quick. I think the first one might have been bigger. You think it was the same fish? I have no clue because I got popped literally yeah. at the same time by a snook came out of the water and he just didn't get my mullet all the way. So crazy. Aaron caught that snook pretty quick, so it seemed like the bite was on. But y'all, what happens next, <laughs> something I've never done before, and let me tell you, a lot of people would probably be a little bit too scared to do this. 
check this footage out. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not. Oh, oh my god. She's on the other side. Hold on. You think that's a snook? Oh my god. You want me to tell you depth? It's really shallow here. I can pull you right up. It did look like a snook. She surfaced on this side. Yeah, she did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait to play it, wait to play it, wait to play it, wait to play it. Did she go through the pilings? How oh, depth deeper are we? 3.1? Yeah. Dude, do you think a snook is still going right now? I don't know, dude. Whatever you have, it's done. <sighs> Oh my god. Phone's out of my pocket. Oh my god, Ryan's under the dock, guys. He's literally swimming for this fish. I'm coming. <laughs> no. Where is it? It's still running, dude. It's under that dock. Oh no, you're around. If you if we no. get we can get this. Hand me the rod. Hop up. Oh my god, it's the engine the fish. Pull yourself back in the boat. Take it. Got it. Where's my hat? I'm holding your camera. I put the hat right here. All right, I think we're home, homeward bound. Dude, it's on top out there. No, that's a stick. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get filming on your camera. Oh my God, dude. Ryan, just fill us in right now on what dude, just happened to you. I literally have never swam underneath the dock where I couldn't even like get my head space. Like I had to like take a breath and swing up, swim under that dock to chase this thing. Guys, this is like total and utter chaos and uh, I, Aaron gave me his boots because I was barefoot and I didn't want to like step on an oyster or something and cut my foot. We, we're safe here on the a -Benz fishing rig. This is crazy, dude. It's got to be a jack, dude. It but it's surfaced the it on the ran. other side. Yeah. The way it ran, though, was so crazy. And no snook is like taking this much line. Like he's, he's like 150 yards out right now. Well, thank God he got that brand new VSX. I literally just spooled this reel today. My man. The Literally just he texted me the other day that he got this reel and he had to already fully submerge it <laughs> It's got to be a big old jack. Yeah Try and gain all this line back No more going that structure again Tell me when to stop because I don't want to run over him. No, it's all it's in front of that dock right now There it is I just saw it surface. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop right now. What in the world does he have? It's gotta be a huge jack for ball. It has to be a big jack, right? It has to be, but a big one, at least 20 pounds, potentially even more. Woo, buddy. He ripped. Honestly, not even that big. It just took me by such surprise and went under the dock. And I had to, we had to make a decision like, you know, am I going to break this fish off on the dock or am I going to jump in and try and land it? We, I think we made the right decision. We jumped in to try and land it, which is so epic. You know what I mean? It makes for a story, but. So epic. This fish, If I tried to, you know, just muscle this fish, it totally would have broke me off on the dock. He was under the dock before I did much of anything. Big, angry fish, man. Big, angry fish. Look at that VS. <laughs> that V2. Wanted to get a fish on it. First time I came tight on this reel. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the reel, bro. Dude, I mean, these reels are meant for surf fishing, right? This is the the two, uh, the two VSX2 series, so brand new series to replacing a legendary reel. It's been around for a long time, but they're completely fully sealed, right? They're meant for like 
striper fishermen guys are gonna swim with their reels and literally fish them underwater so you know there's not a reel out there that i'd be more confident jumping in the water with dude this fish isn't done no this is crazy i mean i really never got to like put much heat on her right and i'm also not putting a lot of heat on her now because i know my line could be all frayed from that dock um, but that's what you got to do. Once you're around structure, man, you got to fish loose drag. You can't put a lot of tension because that structure is going to break your braided line every single time. That's a huge jack, bro. Yeah, she ain't small. She's thick, too. All right, she's coming close. Woo, buddy. In the net. That's a big one. That's 25. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hook oh just came God. out right there. Looking at a jack of 24 to 26 pounds. So right around that 25 pound mark. Absolute donkey. First fish I've jumped in and swam under a dock where I literally had to hold my breath to get underneath the dock. But you gotta love these big bruisers. Blown up big mullet, they blow up big topwaters. Just amazing animals, man. You know, they get a bad rap, but Honestly, anyone that's really into fishing is gonna get super excited when these guys are blowing up their mullet or blowing up their top waters. But man, appreciative of this fish, appreciative of that battle that she just gave us. And uh, you know, I can't ever say I've jumped in the water and swam for a jack like that before, literally neck deep water. But we got her, we're gonna get a release now. <laughs> <laughs> Outtake. The girl, she looks like she is. Oh yeah, she's ready. Woo! She just went the little, there yeah, she got a little That's bit fine. of water. Thanks, man. So Aaron and I moved over to a kind of a point with a lot of moving water and a lot of little finger mullet getting blown up. We were seeing little snook blow up, come out of the water, just completely losing their minds. And I started working a top water as slow as I could. I literally wasn't even reeling. I was just moving it and letting it move with the current, kind of walking back and forth. I finally saw out of the corner of my eye a giant blow up. There's only like an hour of light left and I'm like, Aaron, I think I just saw the jacks. He's like, that's them, we gotta go. He threw the boat in gear. Luckily I didn't get flown out, ripped out of the boat because this thing's got a lot of torque. And man, y'all, when we got over there, there's probably at least 10, 15 jacks and in the 20 to 40 pound range just gorging themselves on big mullet. Oh yeah. Big jacks, big jacks. We're in the top water, back going me fast. Yeah, I mean, that's how it was in Panama, dude. Like, it was like, work it all the way back to the boat because a lot of the time. Oh, mm. there we go, baby. oh my God, it came off. Oh my God, he came off and another one hit it. Oh my God. This thing's going freaking nuts, dude. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Okay. Do your thing. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I had one, bro. Oh my god, that was so epic. The thing hammered it, son. Woo -hoo -hoo. Such sick fish, guys. So underrated. Hammering these big mullet out here, throwing big topwaters in the river like we're chasing freaking giant trevally. They're so strong too, man. Check double up. Thought we were about to for a sec. Yeah, I, I got hit, but I, I just didn't That. I'm gonna bring all mine in. Let's see what we got here. Watch out with that pencil. Don't step on it. I won't. 23. 23 pounds. Dude, that Three, was epic. Two, one. Yo, dude, oh. epic. You wanna get yours? Yeah, for sure. There you go. Nice, man. It's Eight. actually a good place to take the hook off. Yeah, choke the Ozuri pencil, get that out. Another, you know, 18, 20 pound fish. Man, you got oh. here. 
smokes. Uh, right around 17. Dude, they're so fat right now. That's crazy, man. Look at that fish. What a wicked shot. Look at that fish. With the light. That's so, so sick. Good. That's so sick. Let's let them go. Let them grow. I'm happy to say that today's video is sponsored by Quadlock. Quadlock's a brand that I've worked with in the past on other sponsored videos, and they're such a quality product, and they're such a easy company to work with that I wanted to do this again. It is a phone case and phone attachment company. So they make attachments like these for marine and boats and RVs and literally like anything you can think of that you want to attach your phone to, even in the office. It's a very, very simple attaching system that just locks your phone in. Right here, we're secured to this bar. We could be on plane and the phone is not going anywhere. It's tight, it's ready to go. I want to release the phone push this top, comes right off, very, very easy. Quadlocks actually introduced their new mag line, so this is actually magnetic. I've been sticking my phone to the fridge, sticking my phone to the washing machine, to my squat rack when I'm working out. It's pretty cool, that magnetic ring in there. It also allows for wireless charging. They have wireless charging pads and it works with other wireless charging pads, so very, very cool. Added in the mag charging head. So this allows me to just snap in my phone, bam, and hook it up and it's literally charging just like any magnetic charging station so it's wirelessly charging super easy and very very secure so huge shout out to quadlock for sponsoring today's video do me a favor go down to the link below listed it's the first link in the description check them out if you're interested in any quadlock products for any type of outdoor sports that you guys do i really am a believer in this product and i'm really happy to work with them going forward Turn up sun's going down but we're throwing these big pencil poppers trying to simulate a wounded mullet trying to get one of these giant predators to eat it Right off the front of the boat, bro. Oh my God, dude! Oh my God! <laughs> that was so sick! Oh my God, Aaron, that was so epic. Dude, literally hear the blow up behind me. Just cast like 10 feet off the front of the boat. Work it fast. Get absolutely clobbered by a monster. Oh my God, dude. Off the front. Off the front. Going, to your right. Off the front still. Oh my god. This cast placement. No way I don't get it. Behind the boat. Thing is angry, son. Thing is angry. Oh, get tired, bro. <laughs> I'm like legit exhausted here. I might wait for the plot. <laughs> This fish looked big. Looks huge. <laughs> oh my god, look at that tail wake. Oh my god, this is a big fish, y'all. Actually, not that big. So yeah. No, bro, that's too much for sure. Oof. Oh my god. Nice. That's twenty. That's a twenty-five. Oh yeah. Big, thick boy. We like him thick on a Yozuri pencil popper. Crush it on the front of the boat. Watching him blow up a mullet and then throwing that. Watching him crush it. Just such an awesome experience, man. Yeah, dude. Listen to him croak. Quick weight on this guy. We're looking at right around 25, 26, so similar size to the last one. Woo! This fishing really was like nothing that I had ever done before. After we caught our first couple jacks, it was me and Aaron were really in the zone. It was boom, there's a blow up 300 yards that way. Aaron's like, you ready? And I say, I'm ready. And I'm rod in hand, lure in the other hand, and he is hauling as fast as the boat will go over to where the blitz is, takes the boat out of gear, and I'm already casting. I'm already in the water where these things are. And it's just, it was a very, very intense, very chaotic hour of fishing. It's worth blind casting right into the inside of this rip because there was like 
10 just now, all of similar size. I mean, there was a lot in this strip. Yeah, look, 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 one's on me. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're getting oh my God, you're getting <laughs> You got so excited, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh my God. Bro! On me. Keep working. Keep working. He missed it. Come back. Come on. Come back. He hit that three times, but didn't get it once. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Hit it at the boat. Hit it at the boat. Dude, you got a good one. Yeah, I think so. Holy smoke. Oh, double! Oh, oh my God, we're double. The guys are going off everywhere. Oh yeah, this one's real, real. This one's a 30 pounder. This one doesn't feel that big. I'm gonna horse him. Yeah, this is, this is huge. Oh, like, get movable. Oh, Unless it's hooked wonky, sometimes they get on their side. Yeah. Dude, he's ripped a lot of drag. Yeah, I'm, I'm well in line. Turning the boat. Oh my god, Aaron, that eat was so sick. Dude, I can't turn it. Oh, they're going off. Look at that. Huh? You could literally get that off pitch and get another one. That's what I'm trying to do. That's a nice 12, 15 right there. Oh, Van Stahl just went in the water. Behind us. Aaron's still hooked. I got this guy right here. Oh, that's hooked right in there. There we go. All right, buddy. Thank you for your time. You good, Aaron? This way. All right, this is it right here. We're gonna bring her up. Oh yeah. Oh. Dude, that's a monster, Aaron. <laughs> that's over 30. <laughs> you think? Holy cow. Yeah, you're monster. right. Oh my God. She got her more on her. Oh. Dude, that is a monster jack. That is an oh, absolute shit. tank, my man. Eight at the boat, too. That's what's so crazy about it. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Oh, this is a 40. I'm calling it right now. Look how far down this boat is going. 40. You see that? 40 pounds? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, boys and girls, that is a 40-pound Jack Creval. Look at that thing absolute animal that's i have no words <laughs> just that it's a 40 pounder can you snag some pics real quick absolutely dude that's... three two you all right camera good i'm sure so. she swam off really strong <laughs> so that's good news sometimes guys still rolling yeah sometimes with the really big jacks i found like 38 plus pounds they start to lose color quick you got like 30 to 45 seconds out of the water easily Anything over that starts to get sketchy and they will die. So just throw them back head first. Reviving them is also really hard unless you're gonna freaking hold a bogue at 10 miles an hour. So that was epic. We yeah, made it happen. Good we work. might be able to sneak one more if you wanna try. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm not seeing as many blow ups, but I think there's still stuff around. 
What's up y'all, welcome to day two. I am back out with Aaron Abens Fishing. What's going on guys? And today we are trying to catch a big snook. So the last time we fished together, part one of this video, we were catching some absolute monster jacks. Aaron caught one decent little snook, but today we got some seawalls out in front of us that we're gonna throw some big live mullet on. Let's see what we get. Okay, okay, we got a nice live well full of mullet that I was netting this morning. Oh man, and they are scared. They are ready to go. I don't take that guy. Really? Dude, Benita are fun. You should have just made a video. I would have had a blast. We'll hook this guy I think through the top, awesome. through the mouth. I think it's about to happen. I'm gonna I'll cast him anything. right up in here where I saw a nice feed earlier. Got some 80 pound leader, got a good amount of it. Ideally, we want that mullet to sit up on the seawall here because the snook like to use that to ambush the mullet. They kind of push them up against the seawall and then eat them. Really assist them in catching them. Oh, this mullet is so nervous. He came off the wall immediately. Did not like that wall, y'all. Did not like that wall. Throw out this little NOBN. We got some smaller fish action happening. Got the little three inch. Let's see if we can pop something real quick. I'm just gonna pop this guy. Kind of like just like I would fish a DOA cow right now. Just more of a faster retrieve, not low and slow. Oh, there we go. Ladyfish on. Ladyfish or Spanish? Lady. Oh, ladyfish. They're for sure, for sure Spanish. Yo, those I things like when they come off, <laughs> will always. Jump yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, flashing it under the boat. Oh my God, dude, that was sick. <laughs> you got a tail? Yeah. I don't know if I can catch one on just the jig head, but I'll try. No. Yeah, just the jig head. No way. In the boat. I'll film that. I'll film it for you on the iPhone. Yeah, let's do it. Huh? Yeah, so there we have a big old lady fish on just a jig head. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the tail came off and I just jigged the jig head and he ate it. See you, dude. Yeah. Aaron just caught the weirdest fish of the day. That man just caught a ribbon fish. How do you, like, is this thing safe to hunt? I'm yeah, just caught. don't, don't touch his teeth. He's got teeth. Yeah, buddy. People use those as kingfish bait, swordfish bait, and they are a delicacy in Asian countries. Really? Your trick doesn't seem to be working. It will. <laughs> so, quick update for you guys. We actually haven't been doing that well so far today. Aaron typically does pretty well on this tide, but we've been fishing a couple seawalls, had our mullet popped, had our mullet scared, but we actually haven't been able to get anything to stick yet. So we're moving around a lot, trying a bunch of different areas. Hopefully we get a snook at this next spot. My guy just got chased, he freaked out. Oh, he might be getting eaten. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm already around that piling. I'm loose drag. Oh. Still on? Yeah, he's still on. Take it, take you there? Yeah, I think so. Fish, huh? I mean, he ate that mullet. I just don't know if I got enough tension to get that hook in him. I got a lot of 80, which is saving me. I don't know if the fish is still on there. I'm wrapped on something on the bottom. See it? Is it on? I don't know if the fish is still on there. Oh, it's such a sketchy place. Yeah. All I can do is let the trans and go back more. There's my line. There's my leader. Oh, he's still on there. He's right there. 
I didn't even know what to do. We gotta do one of these, I think, around the piling. Okay, I'm gonna push us in. Yeah, move that rod. Okay. Do one of these. Can you reach it? I got it. Keep us right here on this piling. Let me see. Go around to my right, go around to my right. It's huge, bro. Crazy how we just spooked him with the freaking boat, still on there. Yeah, but I was still, no, but I was still wrapped on something. You're still wrapped on yeah. something. I think you're gonna get it out. I just get, it's just so sketchy. You pay attention, just keeping us off. I'll, I'll do whatever I can. I am, I am, I am. It's on something down there. There's my leader again, there's my leader. We're getting, we're gonna get close. Yeah, we're gonna get really close. Do you see him? You got this with the leader. He's gonna unwrap himself. He's unwrapping himself. This is it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, he's out. You're out. Don't let him go back. Let's go. Yes. We battled that fish out. Not nearly as big as we thought, but we battled that bad boy out, man. Woo, that's why you fish a long, Bit of 80 pound liter. Bam! Nice, healthy overslot snook. That was chaotic. I tell you guys what, man. That was super chaotic. Literally, the minute he ate this mullet, he was around a piling wrapped in something. So I had to play this fish loose the whole time. Circle hook got him in the corner. But super healthy mullet eating fish. Let's look at this guy. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, look at that fish, man. We're gonna take this beautiful, beautiful snook, get her back in the water, man. It's been a grind of a day, y'all. These fish have been real finicky. We've been finding plenty of mullet, but just not that many feeding fish. But that was the first good bite that I got on a mullet. And uh, unlike me, I actually capitalized on it. Normally I just like lose like seven snook, Aaron catches one and then we both go home. But uh, beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice little overslot. I'm gonna get her good and revived before we let her go. Just getting some of the, all this moving water through her gills. Right now she's just literally sucking onto my thumb with those sandpaper lips. Ready to go, girl? Yeah? Look at that. Heck yeah. Let's go, man. Dude, epic. We think the fish have actually moved further up the river, which we'll know for next time, the next time we go out. You guys wanna see a video where we catch absolutely a ton of huge fish and there's tons of heartbreak on some big mullet. I need you guys to do me a favor and check out this video and I'll see you guys over there.